His problem was in the finals of the Madden 18 Club Championship here in Minnesota. Came up short, but he can put all that behind him right now. Here comes Dubby. And a nice job on the kick coverage by Problem. That's going to be starting at the 16-yard line. That's not good for Dub. Definitely not a good look for Dub. Real quick, Coltrane, let me get some business out of the way. Playbooks that these guys are using. Problem in the Green Bay offense with the Baltimore defense. Dub in the New Orleans offense with that Kansas City Chiefs defense. So first and 10 from the 16. Trust me, we get asked that question <laughs> time and time again. What playbooks were those guys in? And I don't blame you. If I'm at home and I'm watching, you know, these events and these streams and I'm a Madden player, I want to know what playbooks these guys are in so I can scout what they're doing, go home, and try out some of this stuff that you're seeing the best Madden players in the world doing. If you're sick of your buddy or your brother beating up on you when you guys are playing friendly games on the couch, no better way to turn that around than to tune into one of these events, pick up on some of these high-level strategies, implement them into your game plan, and then give your brother a friend a thrashing next time you guys get on the sticks. Nice stumble recovery there. Stumbles oh again. And Henry Ew. off to the races. 30, 20. Will Barr catch him? Oh, no! Touchdown, Dubby! And he's dabbing on him. No, he's Put not. Put stick. Yeah, it's the truck stick. That's not the dab, Scott. That's the truck. That's the double elbow. And that's how much charisma Dubby has. He'll make up new dances on the fly. Almost shanks the extra point. 84-yard run for Dubby and Derrick Henry. You like that truck dance? No. I was failing it. <laughs> I thought he was getting spastic with a, some sort of double dab. <laughs> and hands it off again, and it's right here. Stumble recovery, one. Stumble recovery, two, and he's off. That's just Dubby on his horse. He said, too, he, we've been talking to him all week. He's been here waiting to play, spectating the club championship. And he said, gee, watch when I get my Derrick Henry out there. It's going to be Truck City. I didn't know it was, you meant so soon, though, Dub. First play of the game rips a big one against the GOAT problem right. He was telling us that. He doesn't care if he's got Michael Vick out there running around. He's going to maybe truck stick somebody. He's not afraid, no matter what the situation, to use that truck. Big momentum play for Dubby to open up the game. It's one of the best defensive players in the business. And Get you, don't, you don't even know Dubby has Vick. <laughs> Yeah, it's no, a one-play handoff, one and play Henry was gone. And you need those. When you're going up against a guy on like Problem who's that good on defense, big play touchdowns are huge because the longer the drive goes, eventually you're going to be playing with fire to test and Problem. So if you can get those home run plays, it's a big deal. This is the sportsmanship. They allow their... If their guys to set up their offensive audibles, they can do that on the fly this year. Yeah, on the fly audibles, a new feature. You got to think next year, we got to find a way to give these guys a way to a little grace period before the game, get those audibles saved. I'm going to put that one on you. That's Fortinette. Oh, oh, hurdle on the ground. And that hurdle might have cost him from keeping up that speed, but a big gain. All the way down to the 37. That hurdle was kind of sticky in my opinion. How often do you see someone hurdle a player over the ground, laying on the ground? Good stick work by Problem. Double tight in again. Rolling toward his wideouts. And nothing open. He had B on that angle route. Right here. Whoop. Agassa! Good jump right there by Fournette. If he could have got the quick hurdle, he might have been on his horse. Maybe could have ran by him, too. Second and nine. Ball officially at the 36. Hands it off again to Fournette. I'm just going to warn you guys at home, you're going to be seeing a lot of truck sticks today. Yeah, but the thing about this game is the 
problem likes to run the ball so much, he's going to keep the clock moving, which is going to limit the offensive possessions you're going to see in this game. So each possession is that much more important. Third and six. Good read. Steps up and delivers one to Kraus. All the way to the two. And that was the route that beat Skimbo. Yeah, what problem does is he's got that post route coming over the middle. Then a playmaker him straight up the field. The right stick. That deep post with Bo Jackson sort of clears out those safeties. And he throws it right underneath him. First and goal from the two-yard line. And Sharp is in there for the score. He was one of our impact players. And Prowlin comes down and answers the quick touchdown by Dub. Big response by Problem. And that's how you're supposed to respond. You give up a big touchdown run when you're opening deep, when you open up on defense. It could be frustrating, but Problem keeps it together and responds with a prolific drive, some good run, run stick of his own, a good dot. Got ourselves a ball game. See the handoff. It's a cool thing about ultimate team and, of course, salary cap mode. That's what we're playing. Put your Shannon Sharp in there at fullback. He'll power his way in. We've seen problem run fullback dive a few times. Not in 16. Golden ticket Gronk. Sometimes I still wake up in a sweat. And we've come a long the night. Come a long way from the hallway. Absolutely. Second and 10 now from the 25. Vic finds Anderson. And Vic's first pass will go for 17. The top by W. You see him in his Philadelphia Eagles uniforms. And he's a diehard Eagles fan. With his team playing in the Super Bowl, you, you haven't been able to phase his morale all week. Hopefully we get W a ticket to that game. Has two number 20s on his defense, and neither are Brian Dawkins. I have a feeling W will find his way to that Super Bowl. Yeah, one way or the other. Yeah, he's not the type of Eagles fan that's not going to go to that game. He, he, he's a true fan. And we got some movement up front by Mean Joe Green, and so that'll make it second and six from the 46. And this rivalry between the top Madden guys and problem representing luminosity and Skimbo and Dubby and the needed crew with Boogs. It's coming one of my favorite things to watch. The competitive Madden circuit. Hands it off to Henry and Henry will take it to the other 46 and it'll be a first and 10. It's the problem with the truck sometimes, Scott, is it, you, you want to do it so often that there's times where they'll truck at the air, but they would have just been better off following their holes and taking the yards that are given to them. There's some give and some take with that. This time there's nowhere to go. Henry, five carries for 90 yards and one touchdown. It was the first play of the game. For those that don't know, Scott, we keep talking about this truck stick. What that is is with your ball carrier, before you're about to engage a defender, you can flick up on the right stick. And what that's going to do is allow your running back to go in and try to truck or run over the defender in front of them. So that's the mechanic we're referring to when we talk about the trucks. They're kind of like how Jerome Bettis used to get down back in the day. Marshawn Lynch. Those are the type of guys that you would see do a, do a truck stick. It's the offensive version of the hit stick. Found its way back into Madden in 2005. Here's a third and 12 after the sack by Chris Harris Jr. for problem. Vic. Quick throw and wide open is Hill. Two for two is Michael Vick. It's Tyreek, the Madden Blitz version, with a whole lot of speed. Got open very quickly. Yeah, good read by Tubby. Tubby's one of the smarter Madden players we have on the circuit. I mean, I know he's got a loud personality, he's tons of charisma, but he's got a very underrated Madden mind as well. You're looking at two of the best. At working that clock and knowing the situations. Yeah. Of course, they played a whole lot of Madden. And, and Dubby's one of those guys, as the game continues to go on, he, 
he really starts to tell what your tendencies are. He picks up on what you're doing. And he's world class at being able to adjust to that. And when you're talking about world class adjustments, that man right there, Eric Problem, right? No slouch himself. That'll be the final play of the quarter. And so seven to seven. Third and four will be on the other side. We're tied up at the end of one. Everything we thought it'd be between Dubby and Problem. Start of the second quarter. Put five minutes back up there. Third and four. I'll be on the march in this drive so far, but this is a big third down stock because he's in field goal territory. And he hands it off to Henry, who picks up the first down. Yeah, and that's a big first down for Dubby because if Problem was going to stop him right there, Dubby would have had to settle for three and take his points. But instead, draws to Henry, keeps the drive alive. And he's already over the century mark with his halfback, and he gives it to him again. And watch out. It's that truck. That's that truck we're talk talking about. And you'll see that user truck banner come down underneath the score hub whenever he lands one successfully. That looked like that was Ed Reed who got absolutely ran over. And Derek Henry, a big part of the meta these past few days. Competitive matter. Oh, got to be careful. Trying to get away with Michael Vick will only pick up two. And we've seen a lot of Herschel Walker. Seeing a lot of Derrick Henry. Jarrett McKinnon. McKinnon sort of the speed back option. And Henry. Flowers doing a nice job with a hit. And it'll be third and goal from the five. Third down play right here for Problem. This is going to be the play that determines whether W gets a touchdown or a field goal on this possession. And he'll give it to Henry. And there's no doubt in my mind that W's kicking the field goal. Yeah, absolutely. It gets stingy down here. You're going up against a defensive specialist, a guru and problem. And Dubby's a guy that really doesn't take a lot of chances. He'll he'll take the points. He won't chase the points. He just wants to be there at the end, and that's really both of these guys' mantra. Yeah, yeah. Both of these guys are going to play smart John Madden football. It's going to be hard to see. It's going to be hard to get either one of them to make a mistake. It'll be interesting to see which one makes that crucial mistake to give the other the momentum. The juice gets loose to the 31 and that's where Problem will begin its drive with three minutes and 32 seconds to go in the half. Both Problem and Dubby playing with that identifier chemistry so they can both see who their opponent's controlling on defense. So see Dubby moving that linebacker right there. Dubby's got 120 yards on the ground. Problem only has 34. Wentz drops back, steps up, finds Kraus, and that'll be a gain of five. Two for two for 35 yards, and that'll bring up second down. Paul Kraus with both the grabs, he's going to be the main target. And the whole thing with that route, RG. We had a flag up front. I think we had a, a jump on Ronnie Lott as he brings Kraus across the formation. And if you try to jump that route, he playmakers you. And, and if you don't jump the route, then he just throws the crossing pattern. That's a go I'm curious what caused Problem to go after that out of position Paul Kraus. Yeah, we've seen him a few times. It's usually a defensive player, but there's an out of position program that will move guys around and let you play them at positions that aren't natural. Stretch to four net. Maybe he's got a way to get that Kraus on defense, double dip. With a player one time, which be extremely effective in salary cap. Hope there's not a way to do that. <laughs> we'll keep our eyes peeled second and ten. I don't think there is either. I just think he likes those hands of Kraus. Landry. You got sort of Landry on one side. He provides you with a little bit of speed. And Kraus is sort of steady as you go. Well, Problem doesn't have 
a defensive cross on his roster. So if we see him <laughs> pop up on defense, we know problem's got something up his sleeve. Rocking that luminosity cap. Shout out to luminosity. I mean, Echo Fox, two major esport orgs, getting behind our players. Yeah, guys starting to jump in. We got set to destroy gaming sponsors a lot of players. You obviously got Team Versus, Dubby and Skimbo with the needed gaming. Yeah, and that's what Dubby said. He's sort of, hey, I'm going to do my own thing. Now that we haven't had, you know, offers to do, do things with teams, he's going like, we're going we're gonna to try to forge our own path. Yeah. The Skim tip of the cap to him on that. You got to, if, if you're an eSport organ, you got Skimbo and Dubby out there. Those are two big names you can go after. Second and six. Got to sell a whole lot of t-shirts, though, I can tell you that. Six to go. Oh, good run. Good block downfield as well. It's going to depend on the spot, and they will give him the first down. And look how fast this game's going. We're already with only a minute 18 left. You see Dubby focus right there in this first half. Yeah, when you have like a, a Skim and Kiv get together, the two passing guys, it's going to be a long game, but this is just... Moving Lion. right along, and Fournette gets loose. And this is odd animal behavior, but the goat is on his horse, and he's in for six. Touchdown problem. And yeah, not too many times you've seen a goat on a horse. But it works. P problem's done it a couple times. <laughs> How long you been holding on to that one? <laughs> I know you write your own stuff. I know there's not anybody out there. It's, I mean, it's it, all you. It's odd animal behavior. It is. <laughs> Trying to make a move. Now well, moving to the 26. Take a look at it again. Just get some great blocking in. Then just outruns Ronnie Lott. The odd animal behavior was actually for my boy, FC Motive. He would always hear me say the, the coach on his horse. <laughs> And he's like, it's not possible, RJ. He said, gee, that's odd animal <laughs> behavior. I said, you know what? That's a good line, young Jeff Younger, another AKA FC Motive on Twitter, another member of our competitive gaming team at EA Sports. There's Henry, makes a man miss. Did he use a timeout with 36 seconds to go? Of course, Dwight Shrew to the office said he saw. A lot of odd things happen out on the farm. First and ten. Throws it into traffic, and there's Tyreek Hill out to the 44. 31 seconds left, only one timeout for Dubby. He's got to protect this rock right here, continue to move, but not turn it over. Watch the corner blitz from Problem, that's what he's been doing. That's one yep. timeout remaining, Vic. There it is. Chris Harris Jr. gets in there again. Yeah, problem when he sees that Snugs formation, he's been sending that cornerback blitz from the right side of the screen. Dubby's attacked it with the out route a few times. Third and 11, and wow, Chris Harris in there wow. again. Think problem practiced that one? <laughs> Just a few times. He's <laughs> dialed it up when he needed it, and here's Harris again. Good defense against that Snugs formation. And the thing he did right there is Dubby's read against that cornerback blitz as that quick out route problem went over there with his user, Anthony Barr, manually took it away. And that split second that Dubby had to hesitate to identify that as all problems corner needed to get in and get the sack. So problem uses a timeout. And that'll force Dubby to throw it away. And this is not a great punt. You. But it will take up a majority of the time. Surprised he didn't try to click on and let that ball bounce around for a, maybe another second or two. Three good. seconds on the yeah, clock. Good point. Not easy to do. Sometimes your player sort of gets sucked in. It's a lot. It's a lot of bead presses to switch players <laughs> yeah. and movement to the left stick. That's right. Pull them off. First and ten. Problem will go to the end zone here. Good pocket. Got to set your feet. No, he's going to run. Wentz and step out of bounds at the 42. And that's where the half will come to an end. Problem with a 14-10 lead at the half.
Well, here at the start of the third, there's our number one admin. Justin Chow will step in and got word that problem is okay with his controller, but Dubby's not. Yeah, <laughs> so Dubby's, Dubby's going to swap it out. Fourteen to ten. Here at the start of the third, it's a four-point game in the Legend Division. It's Division B. Love these conference names, by the way. The Legends and the Elites. Get the Legend Division. If you're in Madden Ultimate Team, you either <laughs> want to be an Elite or you want to be a Legend. None of that gold, bronze, or silver <laughs> stuff. I think they got me as the. This is going to be really a deep thing for the buttheads out there. I'm like the football kickoff division. <laughs> like you're, you know, the first pack you ever open. I'm in, <laughs> I'm in that pack. I'm not even anything. I'm just in that pack. Anybody that's a mudhead knows that it's that's just funny. Just quick sell me for 50 and move on. First and 10. Ball at the 37. Hands it off to Leonard Fournette. I'm the problem just yesterday lost in the championship game representing those Los Angeles Chargers. Club championship and still rocking those Chargers uniforms here in Ultimate League. Yeah, majority of the players that were in the club championship kept their same rosters. Except there was some changes. And I'll give you the most noticeable one is problem changes quarterback from Mariota to, to Carson Wentz. The main difference there is you lose some speed when you go to Wentz, but he has that conductor ability, which allows him to make an additional hot route at the line of scrimmage in between his cadence animations. It could be a big deal, especially when you got to quick hike your opponent, not give him time to set up those defenses. Well, this is going to be fun. I mean, we have 10 games, 16 players, 10 games, and they got a, a roster of 34, but they also got 35 other players on the bench. And yeah. you might see a different quarterback every time, depending on who you're facing. Yeah, it makes it very hard to prepare. I love that aspect of the Ultimate League, and that's something. Oh, as you see, problem. 20, 10, and he's in the end zone again. A big touchdown by problem. Goes up. Two possessions, about to make it an 11-point ball game against Dub Dot Dubby. This is going to be a big possession for Dub Dot. He needs to be able to respond here because you know what problem gets this ball back. He's just going to be running the ball and running that clock and milking this game away. You need to respond, Dub. 324 to go. Plenty of time left in this one as Tyreek Hill will bring it out of his own end zone. Before the big run, what I was saying, though, Scott, what I like, see the replay here, what I like about this Ultimate League is these guys are able to change that roster yep. in between each match. What you said, it makes it harder to scout. You're going to see more variety in things, different game plans, where usually in our events, the lineup that you lock in at the start of the tournament is the lineup you got to rock with until the very end. So there's a different aspect in Ultimate League. And really going to not see who's, you know, you see who's the best player on the sticks, but there's also some GM and that goes on as well. Second and eight, we'll hand it off to Henry. Tries to truck, nothing there, but it gets it to the 27-yard line. That'll get him a first down in an 11-point game. I'll be running the ball a lot. And it's not what we're used to seeing from him. We know he told us he wanted to run with Henry. He was going to get his truck on. But historically, we've seen Dubby with a high-powered passing attack. and Just not seeing it right now. That cornerback blitz out of this... Gun tight offset formation. On the, against this gun tight offset formation, it's giving Dubby fits. That corner on the right, aligned over Tyreek Hill. That's what you need to watch out for. Yep, here he comes on the blitz again. And there goes Vic. And the story behind him using Michael Vick is in the Philadelphia Eagle Club Championship, he faced off against S. Dello, who had Vic, and he had a heyday. 
against Dubby, and the next day he's like, I got Michael Vick. <laughs> And he's that, like, I got to have him. Well, that's what the best players will do. I mean, if you see someone that's doing something effective, you go, you lab it, you understand it, and then if it works for your game plan, you implement it. I mean, that's a formula that's been a part of high-level Madden since day one. And if you can't adapt and implement new things into your game, you're not going to survive at this level of competition. Of course, Figgy beat Estello, and Figgy lost. Down there in Orlando. Third and ten now. Biggest play of the game thus far. Ball at the 40. We got movement up front. And so they'll march off five yards, and they'll make it third and five from the 45. A little more manageable. Problem getting caught on that aggressive pass rush. Michael Vick, standing tall, delivering, Ooh. and somehow got that pass in there, but he couldn't get his foot in bounds. Good click on my problem, almost made a play on that pass. And this blitz problem sending from that right side from his cornerback is really giving Dubby some trouble. Oh, he went, oh, what work! It picked off by guess who, Anthony Barr. Ew! Who shakes out Tyreek Hill, but brought down at the 24. I need that on replay, Scott. He goes up, he guards the corner route, and then see him fight down right away on that split second. It's all it takes to take away the underneath. The game moves so fast. All it takes is that little hesitation up. Dubby says, oh, he's going up. Let me and check Jordan! down. And the floodgates are open. Oh, my gosh. I don't know what problem's saying to Dubby, but he might be telling him to get the floaties out. It's a monster truck rally for problem. Oh, man. That truck stick from Fournette. Nasty. And problem in two days looking to get his revenge both. Got his revenge against Mike Skimbo yesterday. Looking to get his revenge against Dub Dot Dubby for last game's Matterball today. Get off of me. To the crib. Fair to say, problem's pretty good at trucking. The main man Rico just came over here and said, Are you, have, you, have you seen Problem's shirt? He's got a big time flood on it, and he's pouring it on to Dubby. It's cold up here. You know, you got to pack your goulashes. Rico would notice that, wouldn't he, Cold Train? <laughs> it's right up Rico's alley. Dubby brought his goulashes, but I'm not sure he brought his waiters. Third and 15. Now at the 11. Vic gets loose, and it, so does the ball, and somehow recovers it at the 26. Wow. So Rico comes up quickly and tells me. <laughs> they told Dubby before the game, they said, hey, you better keep this close because Problem's got the flood shirt on, and you don't want us to... Start making jokes about you here because you know you're setting yourself up. Yeah. Dubby turns and says, Problem has no flood ability. <laughs> Problem looks back to him. He says, You just wait and see. Or there's a comes to a point where there's a problem. And right now Dubby's feeling it at the end of the third. 28 to 10. 18 point lead for problem. Start of the fourth quarter here in Legend Division B. Looks like Problem's going to be off to a 1-0 start unless Dubby can get biblical here in the fourth. Even if he can get biblical, I <laughs> think 18 points against the goat in the fourth is going to be very, very hard to overcome. We've seen crazier things. Vic to Grant. 
Tubby's got his hands full right now. As that one turnover, it was Anthony Barr. That was all over him. And I like how Problem's still rocking those Chargers jerseys. He said, you know, the Chargers have just been showing me so much love yeah. since that club championship. They were tweeting at him. They were DMing him. Said, I can't help but just be a fan. Well, they helped him win every game but one. And he's looking good right here. Yeah, he lost Ghost in the championship game of that club. Championship problem still in pursuit of his first championship belt in the MCS era. And that journey on the right track here so far in his first game in Ultimate League. And let's face it, if there's a belt that you could have picked to go after this season. I mean, it's close. That club championship belt's nice. Pretty sweet. But I think it's all about the Ultimate League. Well, that's how you become the overall champion of Madden 18. Yes. There's only one overall champion. It's club. It's the Ultimate League. Right there at the end. Yep. Ultimate League champion. All, belt, all the belts matter, but that's the one. Of course, we had 32 players last year. Skimbo won it all there at the very end. But it's 28 to 10 in this one with 3.45 to go. Dubby trying to have some late heroics here. And, but this is what's cool about Ultimate League, Coltrane, because Dubby, he's a belt winner. He wants to join Skimbo and win his second belt as well. And, you know, usually in a single elimination tournament after a game like this, your season's over. It's, it's done for you, Dubby. But not nah, in the Ultimate League. You got nine games left to get it together and turn things around. And Zach yeah. gets into the end zone. I like Vic right there. Good scramble by Dubby. Tried to do a hurdle. Did his best James Van Der Beek impression from Varsity Blues. Life on the line trying to dive in. I don't want your life. It's a good movie. It's a good film. What's your favorite all-time football film? Oh, man. That's tough. It's probably somewhere lying between Rudy and Remember the Titans, somewhere in there. That was a good. He kept the PG, huh? I kept it PG. I didn't throw the program out no there. Pro <laughs> you know, <laughs> program any given Sunday. First and 10 at the 25. Longest yards a good one. Yeah, it's not too bad. 12 carries, 163 yards, and three touchdowns for Leonard Fournette. Doing problem right well. Here's the thing. Problem's going to kill this clock. He's going to try to slow the game down, but Dubby still has three timeouts here. Problem does get aggressive with his ball carrier. If you can land a big hit, force some type of fumble, and we get a defensive touchdown, a quick stop, you're right back in this game if you dub dot. You just need to make a play on defense. And it hasn't happened, and correct me if I'm wrong, but Problem's in that Green Bay playbook. Yes, he is. And there's no one else that knows more about that Green Bay playbook than Dubby. He was in it for majority of the season. But it hasn't help. been able to stop problem this game. Very and Skimbo said stop. the same thing. And Skimbo said, I, you know, I felt like I played pretty well when I faced problem the last time. I just, I couldn't get any stops. Yeah, couldn't could, get him off the field. Couldn't get off the field in third down. Three down. Three down. So two-minute warning. Two double zero to go in this one. If you're W2, you would love to get some sort of stop without having to sacrifice any of these timeouts. Back to Fournette. You better wrap up. And this will put the rest of the vision on notice. You better get some secure tacklers out there when you're facing problem in Fournette. It's a cool thing, though, about ultimately you can change your lineup. Could be a long day if you when don't. You, when you play problem. Throw some of those secure tacklers out there. There's that playmaker, but he decides to keep it as Paul Krause got sort of chucked into his route. Yeah, and that's a daggerish first down right there. Significantly reduces Dub Dub's chances of winning this game. Back to Fournette. This time he slips away. 
and manages to get back to the line of scrimmage, second and ten. This is a good division, too. I mean, you got a W in problem, but then you got Musafa Jones, and then True Boy, who much like Kiv, is up there for Anything the record for making yeah. the most live events in the MCS era. Anything can happen when you talk about True Boy. And yeah, very underrated player. Boy, we have been impressed with Safa and his clutch skills. Third and nine. So it's going to be a pretty good division with 90 seconds to go. But anytime you got Dubby and Problem, they're going to be the favorites. And right now, looks like Problem's going to go to 1 and 0. And let's. An absolute miracle happens here. Third and nine. No timeouts left for Dubby. You got to punch him off the field right here. And hands it off to Fournette. That's going to wind the clock down to about 36 seconds. Fourth and six. Kill the clock here if your problem. You do not kick the field goal here. No. Well, he does have the focus kicker. Yeah. So why not? Do you, you think you can get a perfect kickoff in it? And that's where he's headed. What he's Remember, do. point differential matters. So we'll let that play clock wind as far down as he can. I know it's early in the season. He's going to take a timeout here with about one second left on the play clock. So he calls timeout, 39 seconds to go. But my math is terrible. Ball at the 37. And he's going to punt it. He came out and looked at it. See, I hate what Dubby's doing right here. It's not even in a punt block. It's desperate times. you got to go for a punt block, block the punt, take it back the other way for a touchdown, and then go for an onside kick. That would be a lot of fluke, as we like to call it in, in the Madden world. But, hey, if there's a chance and you can give yourself a fighting chance, you got to go for it, in my opinion. You have to. 33 seconds to go. Madden 16, I'd say watch out. Madden 17, maybe. Madden 18, good luck. It's a long way to go. Yeah. Especially with no timeouts. Problem lurking around out there with that Anthony Barr. Because he's holding on either. He's going to be usering deep, too. That's why Vic's got all kind of room right now. Did you see Problem just <laughs> blow up that blocker with Anthony Barr? And the way you do that, a lot of people don't know about that if... You're running with your defender, and a blocker comes at you. If you flick the right stick and into that blocker, yeah, you might you just hit blow him up. Yeah, yeah punch him in the him mouth, off. get yeah. him out your way, blow him up. And Michael Vick, who's fumbled already. And that might be all she wrote. Seven seconds to go. Dubby trying to fight. But just not enough here this evening against Problem. As the clock goes to zeros, 18 to 17, problem is the winner. So an 11 point win for problem here in the opening week of the Ultimate League. And you know, we talked about, you know, sort of off camera of you don't get many chances in Madden to lose a final, and then you don't have to really th sleep on it too long. You come back today, you get those good vibes, those good feels, and all of a sudden you're back in it, you're back on the horse, and you're and you're here in the Ultimate League one and zero. Yeah, problem was definitely back on the horse. That was Leonard Fournette on his horse all game <laughs> long against Dub Dot Dubby, and yeah. if you got problem on your schedule in this Ultimate League, you better go watch the tape, get your run defense ready. Because that's a man on a mission. That's a lot to deal with. And he's going to be a problem for anybody that crosses his path. You got to learn to wrap up. And problem is standing by with Adrian Lawrence. Problem, congratulations. When you met Debbie a year ago, he emerged victorious. So how redeeming was this win? It was good. Um, I thought I was clearly better. And if he wants to get better, he could go to topmadden.com and, and learn from the best. Now, uh, the Ultimate League, going into it, who do you look forward to facing the most? Uh, all, all the guys, man. Everyone deserves to be there. I, you know, I want, I want to go 10-0. and 0. Uh, You know, that's my goal. Everyone's goal should be that. So, looking forward to everything. Ultimate League is, is an awesome format, and I'm just, you know, soaking it all in and, and looking forward to the upcoming weeks. 
And speaking of something to look forward to, on Sunday you will be heading to the Super Bowl by virtue of coming in as a runner-up in the club championship. Yeah. And you have a little bit more time in Minneapolis. So what are you looking forward to other than going to the big game? Man, um, the Eagles just got a preview of what's going to happen. You know, Dubby, good luck. Good luck at the game. Uh, the GOAT, the GOAT's going to take that down. Ooh, yowza. Congratulations Thank and you. back to you guys. I, I got you. Thank you.